Alright, so this is going to be the second video that I big checked today. Um, this one is going to be actual clones. Um, start off by puffing on this one as, uh, as I did with the Oni. So uh, comparing this to the Oni, the clouds are not that big, but also I'm uh, using a completely different juice. I probably use, should use the same juice. Um, juice I'm using right here, I'll give a little shout out to some local guys, it is made by Shark Juice called Blue Clouds. One of my friends hooked it up, um, sell it down in San Jose, I believe at Vapor Bar. Um, don't quote me on that, I didn't go get it myself. Um, the I'm doing three clones today, um, the first of which is going to be... The Pisces clone from Fast Tech. Now all of these are Fast Tech clones. The reason I'm reviewing these is because I was really sketchy on buying things off Fast Tech. Um, so I figure I'll shed a little bit of light on my personal opinion of these things. First of which, as I said, is the Pisces clone. Now the original Pisces T, there are some very distinct differences, of course. Um, first off, the price, there's an extra shit hundred and some bucks added on to the original Pisces T versus this clone is like shit very cheap um, I don't even remember exactly how much um, it looks very similar a um, couple of the small differences they both telescope um, on the original Pisces T the center part right here that is two-toned that's a gold color um, I think it's brass I'm not sure um, the lock ring is the same color as these other ones typically and also of course on the original Pisces T there is the Pisces logo um, I'm actually glad to see that on a uh, on a clone, they're not using the actual uh, logo of the legitimate mod because that's been misleading. And uh, honestly, it's kind of that's where thievery goes to a different level is when you start claiming that you know you have the right to use someone else's logo. Um, unlike you know the Chiyu clone and the King clone, which I will be reviewing shortly, um, which they do use the logos. This thing is not serialed. This thing is not logoed. Um, it's very simple. It's very small. Not telescopes. I'm using a 490 battery, an 18490 battery, um, an AW that I actually found at a concert in here. Um, but telescopes up to 18650 if you want to. Um, for any of you new vapors, do not stack your fucking batteries, please. You will blow yourself up, and it's not fun. It's not a good idea. I don't know from personal experience. I know because I'm not stupid enough to try it and I've done my research um, so don't stack your batteries just get an 18650 battery if you really want it to telescope that far that bad um, what do I like about this thing now I don't know the legitimacy of fast text claims I haven't you know taken the liberty of going and talking to like say an actual like metal person like a jeweler or anything to see if these contacts are actually silver um, I probably should um, just to put to rest some of these claims that they're not using silver but they look like silver plated pins now the Pisces clone the King clone and the Chiyu clone that I got off fast tech they all claim to have silver plated pins um, are they really silver plated I can't say I like I said I haven't checked the legitimacy of this but to my knowledge that's what they are is silver plated pins which is very cool now they say that these are stainless steel mods the other two I can believe this one right here, it feels like aluminum um, or some some other very cheap metal. Um, I I wouldn't honestly I wouldn't bank on this being stainless steel. And if it is, it's very very skinny skinny stainless steel. Um, well, yeah, it could be stainless steel. It could just be very thin stainless. Um, overall, for a little cheap clone, it rips pretty good. Um, the atomizer I'm using on this is my Nimbus. Um, yes, it's a legitimate Nimbus. Um, it rips all right for a little clone. I'm cool with it. Um, I had a choice between this and the Nemesis clone. I chose to go with this purely because my friend wanted the Nemesis clone. And honestly, I didn't see a huge difference in the amount of production out of them. So I figured whichever one he wants, I'll take the other one. I'm happy with this. Um, 
Now this has nothing against my UDC. Um, I call this guy the little pipe bomb. Um, it's legitimate, made by UDC. It's a real 15, which is nice. I like that. Um, it says that it's made in the US. I don't know if I believe that. It's got copper copper pins. And uh, this guy rips harder. Um, this guy's this thing comes in clutch when you need it most. UDC, it's a cool little guy. Um, it's worth getting. Um, but that's not what this vape check is about. It's about these clones. Pisces clone, if you're strapped for cash and you need something, that'll take any size battery you want to without having to buy extra shit like I know the Provari, um, there's an extension if or at least some of the Provaris there's an extension you have to pay extra for to get it to be the right size. I don't know. If you don't if you just want a telescope mod that's cheap, this guy, it's less than twenty five bucks. Shit, it's very inexpensive, worth the money. Um, in my personal opinion. That's not to say that it is or is not in anyone else's opinion. Um, step two in this vape check is going to be the Chi Yu clone, also from Fast Tech. Now, uh, as you can see, it also claims to have silver plated pins. Are they really silver plated? I have no fucking idea. Do I care? Not really. Um, I paid less than 40 bucks for it. It's a clone. Now, for a clone, the machining of it is pretty decent. The threads, they go pretty, pretty nicely. Um, they don't they don't bind too much. Um, it looks very similar to the original Chi Yu. It's got the same symbol. Um, it's got serials and same writing. It's even it even says it's made by Mojo, which is, or it says, the style of Mojo. Um, it's accurate that this is the style of Mojo. It's inaccurate that this is made by Mojo. This is a clone. Um, there's a lot of controversy surrounding should we buy these clones that have the same the same information as non-clones um, as the originals because they're stealing someone else's personal information basically personal personally owned design um, me personally I, I'm not so so very uh, how you say moral as to give a shit I'm really not I just wanted to get this um, and I dare say it's all right. Um, I believe that this ripped harder than the Pisces clone. Um, now, some some distinct differences with the original Chi Yu. I don't remember what the serial on the Chi Yu looks like, the original Chi Yu, but you can tell. Um, on the original to you, the actual logo, it, the coloring is different. Um, I believe it's darker on the original to you, or maybe it's lighter. I don't remember. I haven't looked at an original to you for the last two days, so I get forgetful. Um, but overall, it's generally the same in a lot of ways. Um, you can tell by the machining. There's kind of a satinish finish on it. Um, that just shows that it's a lower grade of stainless steel. Um, the lower grade of stainless steel is basically because they don't want to one, pay extra for better stainless steel, and two, this is softer, easier to machine. Um, so they use a lower grade of stainless steel. It's a clone, what do you expect? You know, versus like, if you look at my Nimbus, which is all scratched up, it's much shinier. It's a higher grade of stainless steel. Um, would I buy this if I was strapped for cash and I wanted a Chi Yu? I would, I did. Um, I didn't want to spend $200 on an original Chi Yu. Um, will I outcompete the original Chi Yu? I can't say so. Yes, I've ripped an original Chi Yu. They get about the same production of vapor, except for the original Chi Yu. It vapes just a tad harder. It's it's almost hard to distinguish. So it is worth the money. Um, but do you want to support someone that steals someone else's logo? That's a completely different situation. Are these actually silver plated pins? Another different situation. Does the original Chi Yu have silver plated pins? No. I believe that has brass pins. Um, so that's something to think about in terms of is this going to be better than the original? If I go and find out if these are actually silver plated, I'll let you know. And uh, from there, you'll find out. Now, it is kind of, these will bind on you, these threads. Um, I have a friend over at another shop that I go to, Three Kings, over in Walnut Creek also. Um, he has his Chi Yu. He, I saw him cleaning it twice, I believe in the same day because 
it was just locking up way too much on him. So that is something to think about. That is something that you should consider if you're planning on getting this is, do you want to have to maintain this as much as you do? On my Oni, shit, on my Oni, I don't have to maintain it half as much. Um, I do maintain it because it's a nice mod, but I don't have to. Um, so to make this short, because I don't want to make this more than like 14 minutes or so, the last mod that I'm going to uh, review tonight is the King Clone. Now let me just set it up real quick. I got the battery up in there and whatnot. Let me just throw my Nimbus on here. Again, original Nimbus. Why? Because, because I decided to. Um, the King, the King, and the Chiyu designs are very similar. Top pin system is exactly the same, except for the fact that Chiyu has circular pins, and the King has like I believe they're hexagons or octagons or some shit. Um, Again, it uses the actual logo and serialing and king and everything that the king does. Even the Surefire Vapes logo. Um, is that a good thing? No, I don't believe it is. Um, other tells. Um, the king is a little bit closer together on the clone. Um, again, it has the same finish as the Chiyu clone because it's a lower grade of stainless steel than the original king. The original king is much better. Um, they're also making a new king, which is beautiful. I want it. Um, Filipino made mods are awesome. And I want that fucking mod. Um, also, the rings. These are more rounded off. Um, the original king has more boxy kind of, uh, kind of rings. Um, but... Does it rip? Yes, it does. Um, it rips equally like the Chiyu clone. Um, the big difference is, of course, is the look of the logo. Again, the King, the original King logo is slightly different in coloration. Um, the lettering, the serialing, um, the actual build quality. Now, it's solid as far as a clone goes. You know, the King clone and the Chiyu clone are two of the better clones that I've messed with. The Nemesis clone. In my opinion doesn't compare that's purely because it ugh, I hate the lock ring on it let's be honest um, but if you're looking for an inexpensive mod that claims to have silver plated pins the Chiyu or the King clones are great options um, yes they rip they fucking rip of course um, half of the ripping depends on what atomizer you use and what build you're using on it um, and also what juice you're using. So let's not be confused and say that the mod's doing all the work. It's not. But is it worth trying? Is it worth spending, you know, 50 bucks to get a couple of clones? Yes. I believe that the Chiyu and the King clones are worth buying. I personally would not suggest buying them purely because it rips off the owners of the actual design. But if you're going to, it's not going to be the worst idea. Um, I know it sounds kind of like I'm contradicting myself. I'm not supporting you buying it, but if you're going to buy it, I'm going to say that you probably won't regret it as much as as I'd hope that you would. Um, these things clearly outperform the Pisces clone. Um, Pisces clone is less expensive. Um, it's also less heavy duty. So if you have the money, honestly, in terms of the clones, the King clone is the one that I would buy. Now, some of my gripes with this is that the top pins get loose really, really quick. I don't know why they just do. Um, other than that, these threads are not clean at all. You can you can hear it. It's just like the threads are not that clean, especially compared to my Oni, which has like the silkiest threads known to man. Another thing is that this uh, this lock ring likes to kind of get stuck at at unlocked, and so it unscrews the entire bottom part of the mod, including the entire button. Um, so you kind of got to get used to pinching the top part above the lock ring and getting it to unlock if you want to sit it down on its top and lock it. Um, so there are some shortcomings that make this significantly less awesome than the original King. Um, very few of these problems are the same, but it saves you about shit two thirds to three quarters of the money. Um, 
fast tech can be sketchy. It took it took me three weeks to get these in. I heard that they're now using Singapore's uh, post before they're using Hong Kong post. These are straight out of China, Chinese made, obviously. Um, if they're using Singapore's post now, I heard that it, it's actually fast tech now. Um, but that that could change. They could go back to using Hong Kong post, or they could have already shit. I don't know. I haven't ordered from them for the last month and a half or so. But uh, if you're going to buy these, they will do the job. I suggest you getting a real mod, like the UDC that I displayed, um, my Oni, um, the original King, the original Chi Yu, the original Pisces. Those are going to outperform these any day, purely because they're original. And also you're going to be supporting someone that creates a beautiful work of art. Um, now, yes, the King is basically a ripoff of the Chi Yu, save for a couple things, in my opinion. Um, that's not that's not fact, that's my opinion, but still support the people that make vaping and art because if you don't, then they're not going to see fit to make these anymore and then we're not going to have any clones of anything because there are going to be no originals because all these people are going to tell all the vapors out there to fuck themselves. So um, support the originals if you can afford to, if you can't. The clones will do it for now. When you have the money, please get an original. Support the originals. Um, I hope that this helped. I know I just kind of ranted and kind of like just like talked about these mods this time versus the Oni, which actually like was more of a critique. Um, but you see some of the similarities and differences between these and the originals. I apologize for not having any of the originals. I have friends that have Chiyus. I have friends that have Kings. I have. I actually don't have any friends that own Pisces. Um, shops that I go to do. So if they'll if they'll let me, I'm. I'll see very soon. If they'll let me compare, then maybe tomorrow or the next couple days I'll be able to compare and contrast these to the originals. If that's the case, that'd be really cool. And then you'll be able to get a little bit more of a kind of like hands on or at least a more like accurate depiction of what the differences are. But for the price, these things do what they're supposed to do. They do perfectly fine. They rip great as long as you build them right. And that's pretty much all I've got to do. If you like this this vape check or the Oni vape check or any of the ones in the future, please subscribe or rate or comment or tell me that this sucked and that I ranted too much for 17 and a half minutes. And I'll say, thanks for listening anyway. And you'll be like, go fuck yourself. And I'll be like, okay, I'll do that. Bye.